healing yourself before healing others. It is only through self-healing that we can truly support others through our healing process. It is no easy task. It's not. You really have to be committed. Forgiveness, gratefulness, and loving ourselves first is paramount as we heal through self-love. Without self-love, we cannot love another. And we don't attract the type of love that is, you know, with great intentions. And so anyway, through self-love, um, for love is the infinite intelligence and infinite energy as love and light. Our heart is the orchestrator of our self-healing and fills the spaces where love is needed. As we learn how to self-love, self-love transmutes and transforms our life. We then become more proficient in helping others to heal as we learn to understand the psychodynamics of our own pain and illness. Yeah, big. that's a big part of healing, self-love. Our stories and methods are important. Yep, our stories and methods are important to others. So when you heal someone else, when you're healing someone else, you have a familiar story that will help them and support them in their healing because they also can um, definitely agree with that same story. So that helps a lot. They become a library of elixirs. So your stories and your methods become a library of elixirs that support the process of other selves. And through our learning, we are more open and sensitive to the energy of higher vibrational frequencies. Once we start clearing out negative vibrations, we become more open and more clarity and we are able to bring in more energy that will support our system. For we are becoming an open channel in our self-healing, self-sustaining tests and challenges of the unbalanced parts of our personality and block. So right away, we are tested. You know, this is a new life, a new page of your life. Once you start healing um, and, and replacing, transmuting and transforming the energy that was there before, more positive. So be prepared it is an important time of processing and journaling. Again, being grounded and feeling safe in the body, creating strong boundaries will develop the energy system as one grows as a healer. Very important to be very focused and create boundaries. Um, you know, we all sometimes are overextended or we're all open and wobbly. Oh yeah, no, you have to be firm. Um, and and that, that makes a statement of who you are affirming. And that's why your voice is very important to hear. This process becomes a way of life as one heals oneself and heals the planet. It is also important that the healer is not, is not in a codependent relationship with its client or patient. That is something that's very important. You know, we don't want the client or patient to be dependent on us. We are creating a space for them, okay, which supports the process of another to self-heal by facilitating the space with loving intent, integrity, and honor. Know that all suffering is caused by the illusion of separateness, which generates fear, self-hatred, which eventually causes illness. Definitely. Um, it wears on our energy field. Energy is like food. We metabolize this energy. And if we don't take it in and process within ourselves, it becomes weakened. You know, And our bodies are very resilient. So it'll take a long time and sometimes maybe not but our bodies are pretty resilient. So it takes time and it will wear, but if we start being in alignment and, and really caring for ourselves through self-love and self-healing, we definitely will, will definitely um, be a very strong foundation for us. And so the healer supports the process, of course, okay? And facilitates all this um, loving intent and integrity. But anyways, um, we, from that, okay, we are more than human. Know that. We are co-creators with a divine spark of great potential and not through healing our spiritual centers, dissolving blocks. So it's through um, a great potential that through healing our spiritual centers, dissolving blocks and intuitive gifts are more open to us and will continue to expand as we evolve through our new <laughs> perception, integrating this new energy, exciting through self-healing. Yeah, you know, once you start clearing out, you're going to start having more ESP, you know, extra sense of perception. You're going to start, you know, 
um, having visions, maybe inner visions. You're going to start having um, a little bit more audience, you know, clear audience. It depends on 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 how you've developed, but you'll know. A lot of us. Um, our clairsentient, you know, through our feelings, we sense things, we can tell, we can feel what people are feeling. But anyway, um, so that is about, you know, how I have experienced myself healing and as a healer. So I hope that 